Let's now see solved problem number 9 in subnetting. Let's dive into the question now. The question is, the address of a class B host is to be split into subnets with a 6-bit subnet number. What is the maximum number of subnets and the maximum number of hosts in each subnet? And this question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2007. And the options are also given. Option A is 62 subnets and 2,62,142 hosts. Option B, 64 subnets and 2,62,142 hosts. Option C, 62 subnets and 1,022 hosts. And option D, 64 subnets and 1,024 hosts. Before we dive into the solution part, we should understand what is the default subnet mask before subnetting was done. The default subnet mask was class B and this class B is split into subnets with a 6-bit subnet number. Please make a note of this, it is a 6-bit subnet number. Let's solve this now. We know as usual we will be starting with the subnet mask which is given in the question. So the initial subnet mask or the default subnet mask was 255.255.0.0 because it's a class B subnet mask. And this class B subnet mask only is subnetted with a 6-bit subnet number. And this 6-bit subnet number means the number of bits that are used for the network portion. So the number of bits that are used for the network portion is 6. So we are going to reserve 6 ones in the network portion. Please note here. This is subnetting based on network requirement, not based on host requirement. So obviously we are going to reserve 6 ones in the third octet. Because it's a class B subnet mask, the first two octets remain unchanged. Let's progress into the solution. So 6 bits are used for the subnetting which is mentioned in the question. Obviously 6 bits are used for the network portion. So when we use that we get 255 or 255 which is retained from the question. Then these 6 bits are reserved which is for the network portion and the remaining bits are 0 because in the question it is mentioned as 6 bits are used for the subnetting. So 2 power 6 networks are possible right because we are going to reserve 6 ones here. So the new subnet mask will be 255.255.252.0. Why? Because 6 bits are 1 means it's 252.0. And how many networks possible and how many hosts possible? We can have 2 power 6 that is 2 power the number of 1's. We should not consider the first 2 octets here. All octets are 1 right? The first octet and the second octet all are 1's. But we should not take it because the subnetting is affecting only 3rd and 4th octets. So 2 power 6 networks are possible or subnets are possible. So out of 16 bits, 6 bits are for the network portion and 10 bits for the host portion. So 2 power 6 which is equal to 64 subnets possible and 2 power 10 which is 1024 hosts possible. So we are clear that 2 power 6 which is equal to 64 subnets possible and 2 power 10 which is equal to 1024 hosts possible. But we can't use all of these. Why? Though we get 1024 IP addresses or hosts possible, we can't use 1024. 2 must be reduced from it because the first address and the last address are not used. Likewise, in the number of subnets also, we are going to reduce 2 from it. So the maximum subnets is 64 minus 2 which is equal to 62 subnets possible and the maximum host is actually we are getting 1024 hosts but we are going to reduce 2 from it. Why? Because the first address and the last address are not used. So this is 1024 minus 2 is 1022. We are seeing this for the first time. As per RFC 950 specification, we need to reduce 2 from the number of subnets possible and number of hosts possible. But Based on the question you can decide upon. And that's it guys. We got the solution for this. And the answer is option C. It is 62 subnets and 1022 hosts. Why not 64 subnets and 1024 hosts? Though we get 64 subnets and 1024 hosts. Always we need to subtract 2 from the result what we had obtained. And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this lecture. And thank you.